Oh, thank you for watching this video. On this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, job costing, uh, how to assign cost, time, overhead, or mileage to a job. So this has to do with job costing, QuickBooks Desktop, and assigning cost, time, overhead, mileage to a job. Uh, I've already done a series of videos. Uh, I've done seven here. Uh, part one through seven. It deals with preferences, set up item listings, customers, the job, and uh, to better understand all the uh, setups and everything, you, you may want to visit our website. It's uh, newquickbooks.com job costing. Newquickbooks.com job costing. So the website, it looks like this. So here's our website. So newquickbooks.com forward slash job that costing. So it will tell you uh, all our videos from part one through seven has uh, uh, video links. And this one, the part eight is the one uh, we're going to talk about uh, now. And uh, uh, you can also buy QuickBook Desktop Premier if you need to buy one. Uh, here's a link here right now it's uh, amazon.com they're selling for 270 and you can also buy directly from Intuit and purchase from Intuit you just click you have to click this one and uh, they are running around 350 right now so anyway you may have to uh, go through uh, all videos before you understand uh, what we're talking about in part 8 okay so the part 8 now I'm going to talk about signing costs, time, overhead, or mileage to a job. Okay, the first one is job related purchases. Okay, so the job related purchase item you bought for the job uh, and the subcontractor services like independent contracts you hire for the job or any other items you bought for job related uh, 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 job related items and. Uh, and the next one is the for billable or non-billable time. So this is how to record hours spent on the job. You can either use weekly time sheet or single time activity entry, or you can just do it directly from your payroll. And then the other one is the overhead expenses. You know, so expenses caused or non-caused by any specific job. You know, normally when you think of overhead. You may think it's not job related, but some over expenses could be directly related to job and other uh, over expenses you may have to allocate back to the job. Uh, so, for example, you 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 got a job and uh, uh, and you open a, a, a small office uh, uh, somewhere uh, somewhere uh, related to a job site. So that one is strictly job related expenses, although it's overhead type. So it's uh, it's really uh, uh, job related, 100% job related. Uh, so that's it's still over the expense, but you can uh, you can charge directly uh, to that job, 100%. And some job, some rent, you know, uh, it could be just uh, on allocated basis. Uh, and the miles, you know, uh, if you have employees going on job, uh, you may want to. Uh, uh, use the uh, uh, inter uh, but really it's, uh, event vehicle mileage window in QuickBooks. I'm going to show you all these. Uh, so one by one, okay. Uh, so the basic philosophy of uh, job costing is this: the so QuickBooks is basically a generic software program. As you can see, you can buy it for uh, under uh, uh, three fifty uh, Amazon. You can buy it for. Uh, uh, as I said, it, uh, it's uh, $270. This is the QuickBooks Premier one. So this is the one for recommending for doing a really good uh, job costing or product costing. Okay. So so anyway, uh, so it's, but well, nevertheless, it's not a psychic tool to do job costing for you. You know, most some people think just because you you have QuickBooks uh, Premier, you can do job costing. So, you know, uh, you have to set up everything correctly uh, and you need to sign and enter all job related costs uh, 
in order to get the accurate job cost report. So job cost report is your final product. Then you can analyze that report and find out how much money you spent on each job and how much money you made on your each each job. So 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 anyway, uh, so this is just a statement. So now I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Desktop and uh, going to go through briefly uh, what we talked about job related purchases here. Okay, so I'm going to go to QuickBooks. So this is a sample uh, file. Okay, so job related costs, assign job related costs. So basically, you pick vendors for job related, and so you can use uh, you can either use intra bills. So if it's like accounts payable setup type, that's the vendor is giving you uh, some terms like you can pay like 30 days or 15 days or 60 days. All right. So that's one one way to enter it. Another way is basically to uh, write a check, cost and uh, contract services and all that. So you want to watch our next video too. But in this video, I'm just going to show you where to enter uh, items like this one here. This is where you have to enter. This is a field. Uh, everywhere you go, like for example banking, you will still see the same thing. Items, so it's the same field, right? Okay, and let's say uh, you want to use credit card charges. Still the same thing, items, right here. Not expensive side, just items, okay? So this is where you will get uh, good reports. Uh, and you can, you can, you know, all the reports you will see in here. You know, job cost reports in here. See, as you can see here, every single item in here. You know, that's why you need to use uh, this field. Okay, so uh, let's see, let's just see in here. Okay, so this is job related purchase, item purchase, subcontract services, and all that. So you need to use items. Okay, uh, so not expenses side. And for billable and on uh, hour spend on the job, for that you need to use time sheet. Or, or single time activity or, or directly entry in your payroll uh, payroll section. Okay, so I'm gonna quick books again. So this all has to do with employees now, you know. Employees, so enter time, see, use weekly time sheet. This one here, okay. So it will tell you the customer job, the customer job in here, the customer job and when you fill out the time sheet the service item and the payroll item so we all went through this on our previous video to set up a payroll item and service item and customer job so you need to review all videos from part one through seven to understand what we're talking about so this is where you enter time sheet and this will then post to your payroll okay and then you'll get the uh, uh, payroll related cost to your jobs okay so now let's go to the other one so it's just, if it's just someone is doing uh, one one item type let's select the name and uh, like this and then select the how much time and how much rate and then you can uh, uh, bill your customers so so this one the time sheet you basically you know uh, you can bill uh, you can bill your customer if it's a billable. Just check this billable box, and sometimes if it's a fixed price contract, you know, a cost plus, uh, that's a different thing. So if it's, if it's a fixed price, then you know you, uh, you don't need to bill based on this labor. But you still need to track all the labor hours. Okay, so this is a very important one. If billable, if it's like a just directly billable on based on this, plus uh, a markup or profit. Uh, that's the cost plus. So if it's a fixed price, you know, then you don't need to select this billable thing. Okay, so the next one is uh, the overhead expense. Okay, the overhead expense. It's the same process. So if you, let's say, uh, in here, if it's an overhead type, okay, so overhead expense, expenses cost or non cost by any. And uh, so let's say you, you, you got a job and you open a separate office to do that job. Then you, although it's overhead, you still want to use items, items type. You know, you, you just create one item for uh, 
office rent and then use that that item here okay and the other ones could be just very generic type it's a it's a corporate allocation type uh, then you just use expenses that's a forward expense it's basically allocated uh, uh, by some allocation method okay for if you if you know this this item uh, the overhead item is 100% for that particular job or a contract then uh, you, you may want to use the item site the same thing could be for other things like uh, uh, office supplies you know you open a, a small office and you bought some supplies or some other stuff then you may want to consider using uh, those are all specific job related over expenses so you may want to use the item for that job and the other one is the mileage thing okay so if you're going to bill uh, your customers based on a reimbursement, basically. All right, so then you just go in here. So inter vehicle mileage in here. So this is the one you want to use, okay, this one here. And you can set up the mileage rate and vehicle if you have to list the vehicle. And then, then you have mileage reports in here, okay. Um, some, some companies, they don't use this anymore, but if you prefer, you can track uh, the vehicle in here you know like this one i mean if you have a company vehicle and using it for mileage reimbursement you can use that one okay so uh let's see here so that's the focus of this video and the next video uh i'm gonna uh focus on on how to enter uh how to enter all those costs uh using how to write a check for job related costs how to enter a bill how to enter credit card transactions and uh, charging costs back to customers uh entering uh, time uh, it could be weekly time sheet or single time and some of the stuff that those are the you know uh, i'm going to talk about on upcoming videos uh so anyway so just uh, focus on uh, all those Hey, and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channels. Uh, we have two channels actually on YouTube. And the one you're watching is youtube.com forward slash VP controller. And the other one, if you are into new uh, QuickBooks online, QBO, and youtube.com forward slash new QBO. We have all kinds of tips on uh, QuickBooks online as well as. QuickBook Desktop. Thank you for watching. Bye.